crypto came in, in my radar because of my brother like years ago basically i did have a binance account i think but it was binance the second year really so uh, i wasn't a trader i wasn't i wasn't an investor but it was always in my radar. But then by the time I wanted to shift my career, basically, that was the only way for me to go because I see that as the future of the financial system. And, 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 and there you go, that's where I am. So Tradify is very structured uh, because of the laws and regulations are very clear. They are, they are evolved, they are advanced. They were not back in maybe 100 years ago, maybe, maybe even 50 years ago. So everything is structured, so it's an easier job because then you have clear guidelines. You know, you know what is going on. You know how to how how to how to deal with, deal with the regulators. That uh, in crypto, obviously, the the regulation is picking up. Still, I mean, there are lots of new regulations, uh, not lots of new guidances, but obviously, there's still room for improvement. So it is more challenging. You just have to find the right balance. Like that, that is that is a key. So you just have to find the right balance to mitigate all the risks. So safer for the industry, safer for for the world, for 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 everywhere really, is is but also being fair for the users. So crypto is traceable. Uh, so it is on a public blockchain. So criminal to use use, use use the blockchain and publicly public blockchain is not a very wise criminal so so and I'm coming from a traditional financial institutions so I've seen a lot of financial crime uh, what I see in the, in the crypto world is, is, the, is, 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 is less than what I see in, in, in traditional advice so we basically started so I, I joined Binance almost two years ago, time flies. But when I joined, there was a sanctions program in place. We had to, we had to expand it further. We had to reshape it. That process is done. Um, so now we have a very enhanced global sanctions program that, it, that comes with huge undertakings, operations, uh, even, even, even systems and products. So when we develop our new, 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 new products, we embed certain controls that 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 my program heavily relies on. Um, with the operations, I mean, it is it's hundreds of people involved. Call it name screening when 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 you first on board, transaction monitoring during your activities. Other teams like KYC KYB team just making sure that your profile is what we we like to see as our, our, as our customer profile and that feeds through our screening and transaction monitoring and investigations. And, uh, and also, well, like, last, what, I, what I just mentioned is the investigations is key. So we just wanna make sure that we developed and build an industry-leading proactive investigations program, which, which, which what we have, which we are quite proud of. We have some high profiles there from former, former agents former uh, former law enforcement agents and there's a reason why they are here so so we are taking pride of what we do we are always trying to be a step ahead like like the like our company does in almost everything that goes without saying is more regulation is good for me because then everything is more clear for me so obviously in, by no means Binance would ever challenge any regulation. Regulation is a regulation. Laws and regulations are, they are what they are. And we will always have to follow them. But when there is no clarity, obviously the gray area appears and that gray area is always challenging for me. So for the way I look at it, more is better. It makes my life easier. So it is extremely important. The reason being is we are the, the, the showcase of the industry, that goes without saying. So we should be able to show to regulators you know, in, in as transparent as possible what the challenges are, what the risks are, what they should look for. Even, even train them how to use tools that are publicly available or, or third-party tools that they can, they can purchase contract. So that is for our own interest. Or to make to making sure that they're aware 
they know what tools are available, how, how they use those tools so that, they, that the awareness is better. So it's very, extremely important. That is the understanding of the industry, right? That is a key. So like you cannot regulate crypto industry with the traditional financial laws and regulations. Similarly in sanctions, you cannot build sanctions regimes like you do the same way to, to, to traditional financial institutions because you cannot block any incoming transaction in, in, a, in blockchain. So it's, it's a very simple fact so, so that you inherit that risk. So that, that understanding is necessary. We see, we see challenges. Uh, we, see, we see lots of positive developments too. Like we, as Binance, we get heavily involved when, when a new regulation picks up. MICA is a perfect example of it. And uh, where it became, where it started and where it became, it says, uh, uh, I think we had a role. Uh, we had a very positive role and, and I'm mean, quite proud of it. It's the, the potential and, and the future. What is, what is it going to bring? Like, no one knows, right? Like, we, we were here last two days, like, thousands of people, lots of exciting ideas. No one knows what's the next big thing. So this, this is the future. This is like internet in 19, 1980s.